the fight for the 3.7 million shilling worth of Ford EcoSport and a trip to the exotic holiday destinations is at stake for the contestants. Tonight, hey. the acts share their deepest stories. Everyone knows about a war. You, you don't carry nothing. They open up their lives. <laughs> they are real people. <laughs> real people living real, authentic lives. I think a stubborn kid. No, see. What could be more authentic than the scent of cows at Ivy Gavaga's home in Laikipia? Hi people, my name is Ivy Ketaika from Nanyuki, Laikipia County. I was born and raised here and this is my home and I come from a family of four. My mother, my father and my sister, that is my sister. She's our first born and uh, she's a mother of two. She has two very beautiful boys, twins. Ivy is a stubborn kid, no see. But it's, it's been a good experience. Musical wise, perfect. I'm this happy girl that just loves singing. I love interacting. I love encouraging people. I love uh, giving life to people. She's very talkative, like the daddy. <laughs> when I want her to keep quiet, I just remark that I want to put off the radio because it's too much now, it's making too much noise. My parents are just church people and uh, I was introduced to church when I was so young. My mom used to go for, for choirs and uh, for choir practices and I used to go with her. Most people call me a daddy's girl because uh, he, he has really been there for me. In fact, I don't know if I can have I don't know if there's any other man who could have suited being my father. Our firstborn daughter, when she when she was in uh, when uh, she was in uh, in in uh, secondary, you know, we were left with Ivy. So most of the time, uh, that's why she was saying that she was daddy's uh, girl. Most of my challenges, I can say, they started uh, in high school. Yes where I was a black sheep and uh, everybody, people used to look down upon me simply because I was not a performer. It almost broke me, but thank God my parents had taught me about God. You cannot be happy when you see your child or when you know that your child is crying. She has no one to, to comfort her. So it was so touching but I used to encourage her. My mother, my father, they were always there. My sister, they were there encouraging me, telling me, don't worry. I'm a dangerous business lady. I make yogurt. I also, kuna time, I did so, so many things at once. If we could have allowed, I think she could have done about uh, 20 businesses. Because she will come today, Dad, oh, can I get a space in the, in the farm where I can plant this and that? Then two days after that, she goes to the chicken uh, uh, business. Oh, where can I get chicken you buy and sell and all these things? And uh, she's one person who doesn't uh, give up easily. Last year we had uh, Laikipia Awards. I have a certificate here. A certificate of participation category it was best vocalist position number one i got to know about i can sing uh, when it was in its season one and uh, i used to tell my family i can sing season two my experience on the first day uh, in i can sing it was uh, it was such an experience i was there very early in the morning uh, I think I was number one or seven. Ha! My most embarrassing moment on I Can Sing. Ni wakati wenye niliyejiangalia hivi backstage nikapata nguo yangu imeraruka. I didn't know how to behave. I didn't know what to do. And then I was I was calling them and I was telling them, "Ni tini mtu atanishonea hii nguo." And then that time <laughs> Cheryl, who is our host, eh uh, aka hiyo time ndio alikuwa anasema because we were doing duets. 
akasema let us have kena swani and ivy gedega so akitaja ivy gedega in fact i was on my way out kwa exit and all my greatest fear was mtu wa camera i was just fearing anipate tu hapo kwa nguo and then kibati mbaya azum so nilikuwa naenda kugeukia swani and then i feel what na watu wakiona right now being that uh, the, the few we are uh, it's really a privilege it's really a privilege i can't complain about anything but this far it's been hot ivy is what is a very very spiritual girl that's not an exaggeration and we can testify she has been somebody of integrity very hard working very committed and somebody who has a pursuit that is focused to worshiping god and giving god the glory my probation moments have been my lowest moments but despite it all i still rise there's that voice that still speaks to me inside you know god lives in us the holy spirit lives in us he's around us god has given us his angels he has given us his word and his word is just truth it is just life so there is that voice that still speaks in me and tells me ivy you can